Hi everyone. So in this video, we we'll look at how the data is looking like today after this big up move that we saw in the broader market, especially the small caps. And these videos I'm making so that uh, a normal retail investor would benefit from it, knows how to play it, and also kind of not get scared because of the operator activity or the big guy activity that is happening behind the scenes. Okay. So yesterday after the big crash, everyone was talking about how the markets are going to go even lower. But then in the evening, I had posted a video looking at the data that we are going to bounce. And that is exactly what we saw in today's uh, market. Right. So we'll first look at the data, then come back to the charts and see what possibly can happen in the small cap index, mid cap index and also the nifty. So if you look at the data, so in today's trading session that is 14th of march the data isn't as great as we saw it yesterday right almost it was crossing 200 yesterday but it is a little over 100 today but if you look at the previous data this is decent enough like i was saying that last march was a completely different scenario because there we were around 8700 levels probably at the bottom after going down from a level of 12,000, right? So we were around those levels. Now it's a very different uh, scenario. We are around 14, 14 and a half thousand, right? So you can't expect the same kind of accumulation coming in around these levels, right? Also, uh, like in another video, I have uh, talked about how after June, probably there can be a recession and uh, a stock market correction. So when the scenario isn't that great usually the big guys won't be accumulating like we won't see the same kind of accumulation coming in that we saw in march of 24 or 23 right so but this is a decent enough accumulation and possibly what can happen if we look at the chart so the small cap index kind of took support around the same level uh, here if you draw a line right so uh, yesterday i was talking about the 30 wma how that acts like a very strong support right so on the same level it also took support and we have bounce so now we will my best bet is we are going to make an in uh, head and shoulder pattern all right so why do i feel that we don't make a i mean go up go on to make a bigger uh, i mean a new all-time high so two things one is if you look at the structure the structure is clearly pointing at a lower low lower high right so in, in that case you you it should not be crossing this particular level here right if the same this thing is maintained in case if this crosses and also the data supports then definitely we are going to see a new high but as of now it is going to be very difficult to figure that out so what we will do is we'll fig, uh, feel that this is going to make a so this would be your shoulder, a bigger head, another shoulder and possibly a breakdown, right? So we don't know whether it is going to go up to 15,200, it is going to go up to 15,800. So that only time is going to tell us, right? But as of now, there is a bounce and we are going to slowly inch up, right? So the best possible thing that us as retail investors can do is, look at stocks which are still in uptrend making that higher high higher low or else stocks which very having very good accumulation play them for a decent bounce and then once you see distribution you kind of get out of those particular stocks right or else in, in let's say things change then definitely the data will also point at very good accumulation coming in wherein after that you will see a very good rally also coming but as of now we are ruling out that case because if that was the scenario usually the big guys kind of put more money at the bottom itself and not once it starts moving up but that can also happen you can never rule out that possibility so as of now a uh, head and shoulder kind of pattern will happen so we don't know whether it is going to go up to this level or even higher so you can still be invested usually around this 30 wma line right what happens is we kind of do a up and down kind of a uh, movement before we kind of finally break down right so similar thing with the mid cap index so the mid cap index if you look at it very similar pattern so if this is going to be your first uh, shoulder a bigger head 
and then probably another shoulder and then we break down right and then coming to the mid uh, nifty so nifty is exactly at that particular level which it had broken down yesterday so two things either it is going to break this and move up which i think is going to happen so two things is one is no more uh, money is coming into small and mid caps right so most of them are diverting the money into large caps as of now and also going into the election because mostly the election results are known like you know who is going to be elected again and also if the fii buying continues usually they play the large caps fis rarely play the small and the smaller mid caps in the larger mid caps they play and in the large caps they play so if fis money continues to pour in then you should see a new hype kind of being made in the nifty because the nifty chart structure has not made a lower high lower low right as of now it is still making that higher high higher low so in that case the best bet would be to play the nifty and play as long as it is going to move higher so my assumption is nifty is going to move up rapidly or rapidly or in the sense let's say in the next uh, one two months kind of give you a decent uh, up move whereas the small and mid caps will also follow but there instead of making a new all-time high they are going to uh, kind of stall before that and start reversing from that all right so this is my view on the overall market how one should be kind of playing it in case there is an uh, development or let's say an improvement in the accumulation thing then i'll definitely make another video in which we can analyze what will happen in the coming days hope this helps thank you